Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a calendar using C Sharp. So first, first, let's start with creating a new project. Select the Windows app Net Framework and rename it. So first, we're going to need a text box. And then we are going to, going to need a group box. Place it under the text box. Next, we are going to need a month calendar. Place it inside the group box. Next, we're going to need three buttons. Place one button outside the group box that's beside the text box and the other two buttons inside the group box and beneath the month calendar. Next, we're going to rename the text box as txt1. And we're going to put a name to this button. That's called btn show. And we're going to put a text in it. And we are going to put another text in button 2. And we are going to rename it. So we are going to do the same thing to the button 3. And this is going to be the BTN exit. Next, we are going to put a uh, background image to this form. So click your form and go to background image. So now we are going to start writing some code. So click the hide button twice and it will open up this code. So we are going to write group box one dot hide. So when we click the hide button, it will just hide the group box. Now we're going to now click the exit button twice and write application dot exit. So it will just exit out of the application. So next we are going to click the show button twice and write group box one dot show so when we click the hide button it will hide the group box and when we click the show button it will just show it again so next we are going to uh, give uh, the calendar something to do so click it twice. So txt one dot text equals month calendar dot selection start. So 
so so what this does is when we click the month calendar or any date in here it will just display it in the text box so we are going to run the application now so so if i just hide it the group box will just hide and I, if i press the show again it will just show it again so you can see when i click it the date month and the time will appear in here and you can just click the february or the month and the date and it will just make itself smaller and if you go, want to go to the current date just click this here so if you click the exit, exit button it will just exit so this is it for this video hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and i'll see, see you next time